Yo, 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 what's going on guys, it's your boy Glyph, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can bounce one end of the car on GTA 5 at the latest update, which is 1.30, the low rider update, which came out yesterday. So, let's get straight into the video here. So, for Xbox, uh, you want going to use the alternative to handbrake, essentially the button used for the hydraulics which you should have picked up in the tutorial so for Xbox it would be A so you hold A and your car should lower like so and if you let go it should bounce however on PlayStation I'm not sure what the button layout is but it should be X um, yeah so you hold your hydraulics control button which on Xbox is A and PlayStation is X. What you want to do is on your left stick, not directional pad, not right stick, you're going to want to tap it up if you want the front end of the car to bounce. If you time it right, you should get a lot of height. And when I say tap, you've literally got to tap the stick up fully. Well, not fully, but if you want better height, do it all the way and let the stick go back to the center before you um, tap it again. And same for the back. So what you want to do is you want to tap down on the left stick, like so. And then once again, to be good at the timing, or the car can go to a stop like so. And you can do this when driving. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. We're going to start off at the front. There we go. There's the front. And from the back as well. So here we go on the back. So it's pretty simple. However, from what I've seen online, there's not many articles or videos showing you how to do this. And you might see a lot of like friends or people in online sessions just bouncing the cars, like so. And people are wondering how do you do that. So anyway, if I have helped or answered any of your questions. And please comment, like and subscribe for more. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Glyph and I'm out. Peace.